Hey everyone, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you my top six books to read during lockdown if you're someone who's young, hungry, and you want to achieve. There are a few books that have had a profound influence on my life, uh, especially working as a freelancer these days, and books that I recommend to all my students. And I'm going to go through them today and hopefully you can use this time where we're all kind of scrabbling at the walls, playing with our Xbox, finding something to do. And these are books that you can read that are hopefully going to educate you a little bit and give you essentially a roadmap on where to go. And hopefully you'll find them entertaining too. So the first book I've got right here on my shelf is Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls. A Survivor Guide for Life. The reason why I love this one is that basically you've got how many in here? You've got like nearly 300 little pieces of wisdom from Bear Grylls, all in bite-sized little motivational chunks. And he uses climbing mountains and and the working with the outdoors as metaphors for your life to push your life forward. And I found that if you literally just read one of these in the morning, hopefully a couple, but at least one in the morning every day, like I did, you'll find your life just mentally, you find yourself prepared for the day and ready to go on and, and climb that mountain and achieve whatever you need to achieve. It makes you want to achieve something by the end of that day. And it really does set you up in the right mindset to exercise to work on that project you want to work on to educate yourself and to to try hard and to be kind to others okay the second book is the book that probably had the most profound effect on my life when i was in my mid-20s and i knew i wanted to be a filmmaker and i was i was really lost and and i read a book by richard branson called screw it let's do it Screw It, Let's Do It is really short. You can literally read it in a day. And it's something that I give a lot of my students. I just give out copies of it because when they read it, they see that in order to turn an idea into reality, you just have to 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 just try and figure it out on the on the run you have to jump off the cliff and, and and build the plane on the way down and that's something it took me a long time to learn because i would always plan and plan and plan and and and, and procrastinate and never do anything and that's why my my motto is called start with now you you just have to start now without worrying about how and that's what screw it let's do it did and had an amazing effect on me and within 12 months uh, of reading that book I had written a script for a short film I'd got two very well-known actors to star in it I was shooting with a, a 20,000 pound budget and um, and to this day it's the most successful film that I've had and and really showed me I can do it and I still look back on that today when I have doubts that oh yeah you just have to screw it and, and, and get on with it and uh, out of all of the books that I'm recommending here today, I would say that is my my top one for everyone to read. Okay, my third book I have up here, and it is this one. It's called The Four Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss. <sighs> this really especially if you're you're going on to leaving school or you're going on to university um, hopefully your place will still be there in September and you'll be able to go we'll, we'll, we'll see how that works out but either way this is something that basically shows you a real roadmap for living your life in a different way without sticking to the rules um, we're always taught that you should go to university then you should get a good job with good pension and benefits and then you should get married have a mortgage have kids have grandkids retire play golf whatever but this book is not saying you can't do those things but it's really saying that you can design your life 
and you can live your life on your terms. Now, I've read a lot of books sort of about this idea, but even though this is quite an old book, so some of the references are, are a little outdated, it really is the one that has the most quality in there, particularly the middle section. It's three sections. Um, and the middle section really goes into detail as to how you can set up your own independent income and, uh, and, and live a life of, of freedom and live a life on your terms. It's not about becoming a millionaire, but it's about working less to earn more. And it really does have practical steps that I myself have followed and it's really, really worked. So I think the four hour work week is definitely something I can recommend. It also goes into something called the 80 20 rule, which is the idea that it's usually 20% of your work that equals 80% of the outcome. And you should really maximize that 20% uh, filmmaking a good uh, analogy for that is when we get into editing. Uh, editing is 20% of the work of making a movie when you think about pre-production and production, but it's really responsible for making the film. Is the bit where you make the film. It's that 20% that makes the film uh, a complete whole and can change something from being utterly terrible mess into something that's beautiful and coherent and, and sometimes profound. So that's what we're talking about. Uh, the other thing that he talks about is something in here called fear setting, which is the idea of how do you get over the fear of doing something that is scary that you don't necessarily want to do or something that you really want to do, but you're just scared to try it. And it, it, it's a really cool exercise with a template in here and uh, it will really um, it will really show you how you can achieve things and how you can take that leap while minimizing the risks. Uh, it's a fantastic book. My next book is, again, another business-oriented book, but that's what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about achievement. I'm talking about getting you thinking about you know, your own enterprise, entrepreneurship, and, and pushing your own life forward. And that is a book called She Means Business by Carrie Green. Now, although the book is clearly geared at female entrepreneurs, young women sort of leaving university. I think it's valid for anyone. I got a ton of stuff out of it. At first, I wasn't sure because the first section is a little bit touchy-feely and all about our emotions and how we deal with them. But then we get to the middle section again. And like Tim Ferriss's book, the middle section is has some amazing, amazing tips in there. Real, genuine, practical advice, which a lot of these books don't have. Some of them are just give you lots of quotations which sound good and you feel motivated but then at the end of it you're suddenly like well what do I do now not with this book this book has real practical tips uh, in the middle section and, um, and and I can't recommend it enough and and like I said even though it is kind of written as if it's for the female young female entrepreneur uh, I think that it really is for anybody um, male or female of any age who just wants to get more out of life and set up a life for themselves. My fifth book is a book called Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. Shoe Dog is about the creation of Nike, the clothing brand, the trainer trainer company and it is just a phenomenal insight into how you can start something from nothing and really change the world it's profound engaging moving and it's kind of educative in its own way but really it's just a riveting read so if you're interested in sport if you're interested in business if you're interested in improving yourself if you're interested in achievement or if you just want a really good read this summer while you're locked inside the house shoe dog by phil knight you can't go wrong and finally my final recommendation i thought i have to put some literature in there you know i don't always read non-fiction uh i'm primarily an english teacher i love uh, reading novels always have always will and uh, so I just thought I'd recommend a great novel and the novel I've chosen is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman
Neil Gaiman is the author of some incredible books, Ocean at the End of the Lane, uh, American Gods, Neverwhere, but just about my favorite of all of these is the graveyard book and the reason i'm recommending it is because it's for young people who are graduating from david williams and want to find the next big thing um and also for adults as well i mean it's a fantasy book but it's also incredibly funny moving and dark i mean i don't think i'm spoiling it when i say because it's on the first page but it starts with a serial killer coming into a house trying to kill an entire family and a baby and it is dark but also incredibly powerful and so if you're at a loose end and you think i want to get back into reading because hey the only other option is xbox right um although i play playstation so i would say that the graveyard book by neil gaiman is a great entry point another one could possibly be good omens as well if you want to go in down more the humorous angle uh which is by uh, terry pratchett and neil gaiman but for me the graveyard book by neil gaiman you can't go wrong okay those are my six recommendations to read while we're all stuck inside um let me know what yours are let me know uh, write them in the comments uh, tell me what your recommendations are because Hey, I gotta read too, right? <laughs>